All right, we're going to start out. We're going to put three cups of beef broth in a pot. Let's look at the Chicago Italian beef gypsy style. Uh, you go ahead and eat <clears throat> some onion salt along with your raw onion over there. Of course, garlic powder with the raw, along with your raw garlic. Open this one. A little oregano, excuse me, these kids brought out the new ones instead of the old ones, anyways, put about a half a, about a half a tablespoon of oregano, just depends if you like it a little more spicy, you know, what kind of flavor you like, a little crushed pepper, not too much, because it'll be spicy, because it's going in the slow cooker. And that will enhance all, every flavor you put in there will be enhanced deeply. Thank you. Some paprika, this is a little touch I put, a little touch I added for this dish. Some garlic powder, you know, we like a lot of garlic in my family, so I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of garlic in here. Start warming the, the stove for me, please, because we're going to put this on the stove and bring it to a boil before we add it over our meat. You see our beautiful meat that we're going to go and use for this. Some basil, but they ran out of the little ones, so I have to buy the big basil. Mm -hmm. Huge jar of basil. Mm -hmm. so we need about a half a tablespoon of this. Not too much, but it'll make it a little sweet. You know, basil has a tendency to be sweet. <coughs> Excuse me, some black pepper. Pepper, right? I try to stay away from it because the kids don't want it too much. Some regular salt. Shouldn't have too much salt. <laughs> That's my family saying. One whole bay leaf or a couple of pieces of bay leaf. That's all you got. And here's the ingredient that everybody goes, wow, are you serious? You know the little Italian dressing seasoning that we always use? We get the little bottles and we mix it in with some olive oil. Yeah, that stuff. I have two bottles of this, two, two little baggies of this stuff. This is the big secret ingredient that everybody don't understand. This is what makes it taste so good. Okay, we're going to throw this on the pot and bring it to a boil, and then it's going to go poured right over our meat in our slow cooker. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, there's our beef in the slow cooker. What we do now is we add our onion that we saw on the cutting board earlier, right into the slow cooker just like that. This will all melt down overnight. We just add our garlic right like this. All that good garlicness makes it taste better, and it's good for you. And I like to top it off with some olive oil, and sometimes I re-season it, but I'm not going to this time. I might re-season it throughout the night. Olive oil, just get the juices flowing there. I'll just keep filming that. I'll be back in a second. I want to bring that pot to a boil of the stuff, the ingredients with the beef brought, and add a little bit of water, a cup and a half, two cups of water. I pour that right on top of there, as much as I can fit in there. Hopefully we get it to the top. Just filling up the bottom space now. Okay, now you check and see how I got the seasoning in there. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to scrape, not scrape, but you know, just clear out the pan, pot of that. Um, that's the seasoning that we added there. We want that stuff. We don't want to, you know, that'll help, that'll help it cook. Now, slow cook it on your low setting if you have one of these. You have an oven, if you're going to put it in like a double <coughs> broiler or something in the oven, you, you got to leave your oven on all night. I just put my slow cooker on a low setting. I put the lid on. I push it back. And we'll see you guys tomorrow when this is done. And you can't believe what this thing smells like. But good night for now.
Here we are, about 16 hours, 14 hours later. We just took it out of the slow cooker over here. We're going to shred it up, and then we're going to put it back in there for about an hour. And we're going to season it right after we shred it. So I'll be back in a minute showing you how we season it. Bye-bye for now. Okay, uh, we shredded it up a bit. We're going to re-season a little bit of salt. Some black pepper. A little bit of paprika. And a little olive oil. Which I already added some, but we're going to add a little more now. And then uh, after you add this olive oil, go ahead and continue to shred it. Then throw it back in the pot. And let it cook for about an hour. So it absorbs all the pot juices that it cooked in. Here's the pot juices that it cooked in. So let it reabsorb into that stuff for about an hour. And then we'll show you how we're going to put it in bread and stuff. And uh, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, we're going to show you how to put the sandwich together. Go ahead and get a shot of this. This is what's going in. It's been sitting. It's cooked for about 16, 17 hours or so. Slow cooking like that. This is the jardin that you put on top of your sandwich. You can put cheese in the bread, but I don't. This is how you, pretty simple how you put these together, though. So you know. Excuse me for a minute. <clears throat> you just get your good, I couldn't get the right kind of roll, so we just got these any kind of good sturdy rolls, you know, that'll hold the meat and the gravy. If you want cheese, go ahead and throw it in the bottom now. Or an Italian sausage if you want Chicago style in the bottom now. But we don't like it like that. You get some of this meat. You start stuffing in the sandwich. So you think you get enough in there. Just keep pouring it in. So you think you got enough. We like to overstuff them a little in case you don't know. You can always eat it with a fork and a knife if you want, you know. That looks about right to me. Maybe a little more there. I see an empty edge. Can I have an empty edge, huh? Alright. Once you get the once you get your meat in there, you go ahead and get you a little ladle or some kind of spoon. Spoon over some of the gravy. This gravy is un taste unbelievable. I can't describe to you the flavor that you get out of this. You can add your own little recipes if you like to it. Open up those chips holes. Then you get your jardinia straight from the bottle. I like a little of the juice because it's really, really, I got the hot mix, so it's really hot. Mm -hmm. Give me some peppers, some carrots, little chopped up sport peppers in there. So as much or as little as you want. Some don't like any, but you know, I think that's kind of crazy because this sandwich is nothing without your opinion. And after you're done with that, get you either some french fries. I want some chips. I didn't want to eat some fries. I got me some potato chips and any drink you like. And you're good to go. Italian hot beef sandwiches by Gypsy. Bye-bye.